Welcome to the Holy Spirit's Curriculum of Joy podcast. I'm Wanaka Oberhuber, your host. I pray that we find the other way, that we choose to follow the guidance that provides us with everything, that shows us that we already have everything, And we come to a place of peace within. And therefore come with peace. Come to peace. I have spoken about how important it is to be that safe place. To be the place where everything can come to. Because everything is in you. Yes, you encompass everything, or I encompass everything, as we all are one. It is a very important fact to know that this experience of allowing everything to be inside of you entails a lot of encounters with what you may have so far termed to be unpleasant at the least to evil at the most. And yet, all is within you. And yes, There is a means to find peace, to accept the peace that you already are. And in A Course in Miracles, it is called accepting the atonement for yourself. And this is an acceptance that encompasses all. When you accept the atonement, you are accepting it for everyone. Because you are one. So when you start seeing everyone as having accepted the atonement for themselves, and therefore you are able to see straight to the peace within, the peace that is there. A whole meaningful understanding, no, not understanding, a whole meaningful beingness emerges into your awareness. This is a process of Remove, allowing the blocks to the awareness of love's presence to be removed by spirit. Let us welcome this into our lives. Let us be thankful that we are the being that is holding that space, holding themselves in a safe place and providing that safeness for everyone. Hmm. Now, venting is a very particular way that is shown to be purposefully used to release energies and the like. Now, that is not releasing energy. That is losing energy. 
Why? Because the energy gets tied up and therefore is not available to you at that time. You will be given other opportunities to allow that energy to flow once again freely. What is freeing is to allow the whole thing to come up in your awareness and to learn to allow it to be there. Most of you are taught to cringe when the unpleasant, the what you might term evil or the meanness or the awfulness comes up. And you also have learned to cringe when the beauty, the joy, the happiness becomes very intense. Why? Because you have been told that happiness is a fantasy. To be happy is made up. You can only be happy once a fantasy has become real, and then it only lasts for the moment in which that fantasy appears to be real, and then it's gone again. Now, the happiness that I'm talking of is not of that kind. It is lasting. And it does not cringe. It does not hide. It is in plain sight. And it is not ever, ever, ever in danger of disappearing. I'm sure many of you either have touched rock bottom or are touching rock bottom at this very moment. And you know how easy it appears to be to change one's mind and what a relief it appears to be. Turning back to the light is nothing but it is the most important decision you make. After that, you are capable because you recognize yourself as capable of returning home. Yes, you are at home and at the same time having an experience of returning home. That is how time, though created by the idea of separation, becomes a beautiful way and useful for accepting the atonement for yourself and thereby for everyone, for all because all are one. Yes, thank you for listening to this episode of the Holy Spirit's Curriculum of Joy podcast. And we will be joining soon. Bye-bye.